cleanup is underway downtown following NASCAR weekend. And WGN's Brona Tumulty has been chatting with businesses about the event, and she joins us now from Grant Park. Hi, Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, the race has run its course for another year, and according to OEMC, the cleanup will run through July 18, so about 10 days or so to pack everything up. Now, the dollar impact of NASCAR year two has yet to be released, but businesses nearby say it's an event they welcome. For me, I think it's cool. I think it's a good thing for the city. I think it's a good exposure for the city. Andrew Gallios and his cousin run Miller's Pub downtown, a staple in the loop. My cousin and I are partners, and our dad started the business. And they're no strangers to big events happening a few blocks away in Grant Park, from the Taste to Lollapalooza and now NASCAR. Like that's what makes downtown uh, summer in the city like fun, right? Like those kind of things, I would say. He says the big race definitely boosted sales, though last year's downpour forced folks inside with more haste. This year kind of drizzle, um, so it was good business, especially after the race. It's unclear right now how much all of this revved up Chicago's economy, with the event coinciding with the holiday weekend, a traditionally violent time. Whether it's a holiday weekend or a weekend that someone is celebrating their wedding anniversary, the point of our work is to ensure that every single weekend in the city of Chicago is as safe as possible. For Gallios, while these events may bring a little extra traffic and noise, he says it's simply good exposure for our city. They keep adding cool stuff like this and I'm all for it. Now please tell us, this being the second year of NASCAR, they didn't need as many resources down here as they thought they would last year, so they were able to deploy those officers elsewhere. We're live at Grand Park, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News. Thanks, Bruno.